So after logging on to your Integromat account, you'll see the dashboard. We're going to hit the scenarios instead, as we're going to send an email as an SMS. So create a new scenario. And when you press the button, you'll see a search field. We're going to search for Mailhook, and I know it's going to show Webhook, but don't really think too much about it. It's going to make sense in a second. So after selecting it, it will add a check mark, so we know it's selected. We could continue and add the integration to Gateway API later, but we're going to do both at the same time because it saves us a bit of time. So search for Gateway, and you can see the icon, so let's click on it. Both of them now have check marks, which means they're both selected, and we can add them at the same time. So after hitting continue, you'll see a blank screen with just a question mark. Click the question mark, and it will ask which one you want to choose. We're going to choose the webhooks first. As you can see, we have the option to choose webhook or mailhook. We're going to focus on the mail hook as the goal of this video is to have you send an SMS after sending an email. When you click on it, you can see we just have an empty field. So we're going to add something. Name it whatever you want to. It doesn't really matter. This is just to keep track of all of your different names and connections and so on. After saving, you can see that it adds a little email address underneath. We're going to be using this one later, but hit OK for now. Go down to the favorites and click Gateway API. The other ones might be covered in a later video, but let's click send an SMS message first because it's one of the simpler ones to deal with. After hitting it, you can see they're already connected. So click the Gateway API, and as you can see, we already have a connection, actually a couple, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna add a new one just to guide you through. Once again, the connection name doesn't really matter. It's mostly for you to figure out what connection does what. So we're gonna call it Gateway API Mailhook just to keep it simple. The API token is something you need from your Gateway account. After creating it, you'll already have access to the API. After you click it, API keys. And as you can see, automatically created by system. So get key your token. In this case, we need the token. So just mark it, highlight it, copy, close it, and go back to integration. As you can see, API token can now be pasted into this field and will start loading after pressing continue. There we go. Is already added. As you can see, we now can choose between three of them. The sender in your message is going to be what the person on the phone sees. So in this case, if I were to receive the message on my phone, it would be mail hook test. It might be a bit too long, so let's just shorten it down a bit. Um, but remember, you can at max put in 15 characters, 11 digits or 15 characters. The message is going to be the content of the email, which is basically just the text in the email. The email can be as long as you want it to, but do be aware that 160 characters counts for one SMS. So, under the recipients, an MSISDN is just a fancy way of saying a phone number. In this case, it's going to take it from the subject line of the email. So, press subject and just add. And that's pretty much it. We're actually done with all of the setting up now. So, let's just make sure it runs continuously. Click the lightning bolt, and as you can see, it says immediately. This means that every time an email has been sent, it's going to run this scenario. So let's save it just to make sure we don't lose any progress. And let's turn on the scheduling. And as you can see, it also says immediately. This is good, so let's just activate it. As I mentioned before, it also generated an email address for us. So click the webhook icon again and take the entire email address. You can either just mark it and copy or copy address to clipboard on the button just below. We copy and go into our email. Let's compose a new one. And we're going to send to the weird email address that we just saw. This is going to be the one that makes sure it's going to be sent through the gateway. As I showed you before, the subject is going to be the recipient. So in this case, we're just using a test number. This is who's going to receive this mess or the email, but it's the same thing in this case. The text is going to be testing mail hook to a phone number, which is the text. And as we defined earlier, this is going to be what's received on the phone. So let's hit send. The message is sent. And that's actually it. Let's go into a traffic log just to make sure the mail has actually sent us an SMS. We've tried it earlier, but let's just refresh a couple of times. Everything seems in order. Let's see. Usually it just takes a couple of seconds because it needs to transform the email into an SMS, send it through the system, but already we can see it's delivered. As we can see, the sender is mailhook T. The message is testing mailhook to a phone. 
So it's delivered and it all happened within seconds. Just sending an email, getting it all transformed into a message and send received everything. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out if you need any help. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.